perfect, Mr. Robbins. Commentators delight when they go in like that, they. He'll feel better, won't he? He's now at least on the board. And his face showed his reaction to that first start. He's been ruthlessly consistent no on his double starting. And he now just is showing the odd sign that this game is not over. His discipline, and you see Oven suddenly has grown in stature. And over this discipline, Ovens could well win this set, and then it's all square, and then it's his game. And we've seen how just one little pass. I remember the first match tonight with uh, Elder from Ireland and Mervyn King. King just hit those two big finishes and it turned the match around. Yes, I think this game perfectly illustrates that over the short format, no matter how well or how badly you may be playing, you are never miles away from each other because that score sets and legs can change in minutes wow. yes it's a, it's a it's a wonderful leveler and it gives us a, a fresh angle in this game look at this still room for a bed mate wow. <laughs> yes. you're dead right mate hey yes lovely to watch uh, he is becoming a real, real quality player. He's always been a good player as James Wade. Remember him winning the British Youth Championships way back in the mid-90s. And even then, people said this is the start of the future. Yes, and I just think, John, that possibly Raymond van Varneveld, with Taylor having fallen by the wayside, may well regard this young man as his greatest threat for this title. Yeah, he's got Mervyn King to overcome yet, hasn't he? And yeah. he's, he's already said uh, <laughs> what a great player he is. We know that. Dangerous. Some terrific games coming up in round two, folks. Been some good ones in round one and two more yet tonight. Will Irish eyes be smiling after James Keogh has taken on wow. Adrian Lewis? It's going to be tough for him. Well, the crowd will be singing and swinging, whatever the outcome. Look at this. Should come out now for 16. Powerhouse scoring from Wade. Really throws the gauntlet down. Ovens knows he can't ill afford to miss this 140. Over the top. The slight head shake says all. 16, not enough, so tops Don't away, you, and you almost think this is a certainty. Nothing in life is, of course, but fancy this one. A fraction under. In she Ten goes. Don't always get them right, but when Ten players seven. are playing as well as he is, Both you can be pretty certain that he's never going to be too far away. One leg away now, Wade, from a place... In round two of the Grand Prix, World Grand Prix here in Dublin. 18. Saget, to be exact. Lovely little village it once was, but the development around this place amazing. 16. Oh, it's booming, isn't it, John? Even in the six years, it's six years oh. since we were first here. This is the seventh staging of the World Grand Prix at this particular venue. We've seen a huge development, haven't we? Millions of euros, millions of euros. The property wow. here is as impressive as that maximum from Ovens, and that is the way he completed the set. And uh, Wade is replying almost in exactly the same way. A splurge of incandescent brilliance there. Well, not quite a splurge, but uh, it was bad. Fancy this again, you know, from Wayne. Ooh, that one suddenly took a flyer. 100. You can see how unhappy he is. 141 for Ovens. Needs this leg to stay alive in the Skybet World Grand Prix. Yes, and take this set into a decider and again an indication of the fact that even though Wade is only one leg away from winning the 57. match, Ovens is not out of it by any means. If he does take this leg, then he could win the set. 
and there could be a turnaround. I think we had a very good example last year when John Part seemed to be coasting it against Lionel Sam's Dave, and uh, suddenly the game turned around and it was over. But this is Oven's opportunity, double 12 now for 2-2 two -two in this second set. That was a good leg, that from Oven. It means that Wade is throwing first here for the match still. But uh, what a vital leg this is. Absolutely. Match could well be won and lost here. And Wade once again getting away from the blocks with considerable speed and style. 120! Absolutely fantastic. He's had uh, seven legs, Wade, seven starts, and he's only taken 11 darts to get off. He's also had five out of 12 hits on the finishing doubles. So, uh, pretty impressive. It's uh, stood him in good stead in this match, and it's just as well, perhaps, with Huggins breathing down his neck in this uh, second set. What happened here, John? The dart seemed to pick up one of its chums and lose its energy. Yes, I was saying earlier, you don't see too many bounce outs on this board. You do obviously get the dropouts like that one. Uh, it's got nothing to do with the board. It's as you say, the, the missiles which are already in position, which balk away through. Oh, the boy is playing beautifully down at a finish after only nine darts. And Ovens, who's raised his game. First set just drifted away from him completely. He, he has played a better second set. But uh, Wade comes to the mark now. He's got six starts at least at this 1-2-1. One, one. If he gets the ball, he didn't go for it. I wasn't sure that he would. He didn't have to because Ovens is so far back, as has been the case quite often in this match. And it has to be said that on this form, Wade seems magnetised into double top. He doesn't miss this one very often. This one for the match. There it is. James, James Wade's finishing James power prevails. Ovens only just got a sniff of that match. But this young man is a winner, and he could be going places here in Dublin. Yes, an average of 94.8 for Wade. We'll see him again.